guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new i am anna maria and you are watching miracle orchids the place you can learn everything there is to know about growing orchids in today's video we are going to work with this uh, dendrobium orchid it is very sick although you might uh, not actually see here we have the new growth which just have melted from the base it is a very serious bacterial infection i have had it in the past on a dendrobium and uh, it completely died i just could not save it so uh, i will do my best to save this one because back then i did not have the tools that i have now so uh, uh, yeah uh, i have thought this is a dendrobium uh, nobile au oriental smile aurora but it is not because the blooms are exactly the same but much much smaller so uh, i don't think it's that one but for uh, the main part you need to make sure you will be able to remove all the medium and uh, this is because um the bacteria this is a bacterial infection so the bacterial infection uh, is uh, stored let's say uh, so the medium is also infected it is a rather pot bound orchid and I think it would have been much useful if the medium would have been a bit more dry but uh, we will work with what we have the medium is also kind of decomposed I'm not sure why the new growth uh, decided to decided <laughs> got infected because I did not overwater the orchid so uh, not really sure what happened one day I just saw uh, one of the new growths uh, down like this and uh, I thought maybe someone uh, touched it and uh, broke it or something but uh, then uh, when I have touched uh, the base I saw it is very very mushy and uh, if you would be right now to remove the sheets from the base of the orchid you would discover uh, uh, orange uh, part uh, this bacterial rod it is uh, I don't really remember right now how it's called but it is uh, known to be a uh, orange rod or I think it's actually called the orange uh, rod of the orchids it's uh, very very aggressive and uh, very often it kills the orchid uh, but I'm going to help her by uh, providing some uh, Faisan I will do a very strong solution of Faisan I will put you the concentration uh, if I don't forget on the screen but also in the description of this video you should always read my descriptions because I can put their uh, quite useful information that I might uh, forget to put in the video or I don't have uh, just then in mind uh, exactly the concentrations for example on the Faisan if I remember correctly I think it's 5 milliliters per gallon of US gallon of water so let's say 3.7 liters uh, for 3.7 liters I would put 5 milliliters of Faisan we will see uh, to my luck uh, the uh, medium is uh, getting uh, very easily from the roots this is peat and uh, it's uh, not my favorite medium but uh, I like that at least the orchids are easy to report from it so at least that the orchid is showing a lot of signs of uh, sickness uh, it has lost uh, quite a few leaves uh, leaves that were still green and they are yellowing from the base to the tip which is uh, bad I hope uh, the infection is not uh, uh, already dispersed on all the orchid I will check on the base I will check uh, to see how the orchid looks like and uh, if I uh, see all the base uh, is uh, mushy then uh, I will be pretty much hopeless and uh, yeah I will see let's uh, work step by step I see some mushy roots but uh, many of them are alive Also, if you try to smell this uh, rod, it will smell super bad. So right now I'm going to cut these from the base because uh, they are of 
no help. I cannot save them, so yeah. This orchid right now will be very sad back and uh, actually it will not receive a winter rest. Because uh, I don't uh, think the orchid should be let to bloom but to uh, regain her strength. So um, I'm trying to remove everything from the base. Of course I have the very dreaded uh, plug of moss. Medium is decomposed. And at this point I will go to the sink, I will shower the root system, I will cut off the dead roots, the dead roots will be mushy, empty or hollow inside. And if you pull away on a dead root, you will uh, be left with a string behind. Then I will spray it with hydrogen peroxide and then I will show to you um, what uh, is the next step to save uh, hopefully the orchid. Okay guys, and the situation is much much worse then uh, I have uh, originally believed I have a lot of root, I cut off a lot of roots and these I am sure uh, will die as well because the infection started from the roots upwards and uh, I don't have uh, much hope that they will actually uh, recover by growing normally from the base but I will try so here in this water I will prepare the Faisan solution so I will go ahead and put uh, 5 milliliters of Faisan uh, to that water and the orchid will stay there for um, 24 hours actually to make sure it has absorbed everything I will do this okay so I have uh, in reality three divisions after I have removed the uh, that the uh, part and uh, this one seems to be also affected the, by the base and here I have some uh, uh, orange but here it seems that uh, it might start a new growth I have cut off the blooms because uh, those would only uh, keep the orchid from recovering faster in here I seem to have a new growth in there and uh, here as well so I will submerge this too and uh, then with this one again here a new growth but the orange part is there so I'm not sure if it will recover if uh, it will start uh, to rot from the base I might uh, just cut it from here and uh, put cinnamon let uh, the orchid produce cakes but uh, I will start uh, with this and see how uh, it will do I will let it um, soak like this overnight for 24 hours actually uh, I will go ahead actually and put some uh, crop marks in the solution just to make sure I fit the orchid as well and some MSU uh, at um, about uh, I think 80 ppm in total so let's see 40 of crop marks and 40 of MSU um, and after that uh, I will take you along for the whole uh, trip let's say so uh, let's see how the orchid develops okay guys and here we are the orchid uh, has been sitting uh, completely submerged in water for the past 24 hours which uh, uh, on one of the divisions seems to have been uh, a bit too much um, not sure if you are seeing but uh, this uh, one uh, has some uh, spots, some, uh, I think now you see better. So uh, water has uh, penetrated and uh, let's say floated the uh, cells and um, I expect these leaves to fall but uh, that is okay. Um, I have uh, done very well in uh, submerging them because the nubbins are more pronounced now. Uh, I see new nubbins uh, starting to appear which uh, yesterday were not present. Um, let me show you some more examples. So I have a nubbin starting here, some here, here, here. So pretty much every available nubbin will start to form. The, the base growths uh, seem to want to grow and uh, I hope that uh, by uh, doing this uh, I uh, encourage the orchid to 
uh, start pushing up new growth. Now on the base you see I put some coconut fiber and uh, then on top I put some moss. I don't have more, usually I would have uh, placed about one centimeter on the bottom and uh, the orchids are... Uh, uh, would have uh, stayed like this on top but uh, that is uh, what I have and that is what I will use. This is very moist, uh, actually almost soggy um, moss but that is okay because the orchid is uh, going to receive moisture from it. It has very little uh, touch base with the uh, moist uh, media and um, yeah I think it will work good uh, if I see um, that the orchid will start to produce uh, the cake is from the base so uh, that will be a very good sign and I will go ahead and put it upright like it's normal but if I see that it is reluctant in producing new growth from there but uh, more from the uh, no, uh, I will just keep it like that and propagate it through cakes. Now another thing that I will use in this period, it is a bio spray from uh, Dr. Soil. This contains urea and uh, which is actually a nitrogen source and some um, uh, tree soap. Uh, this will protect the orchid from um, pests and will strengthen the cells. Uh, this also have a uh, silicone which will uh, promote uh, stronger and uh, thicker cells, uh, so thicker leaves and better roots. And uh, the urea or the nitrogen will actually promote uh, new growth, new growth on the orchid. So uh, I will spray it very well on the undersides of the leaves, like so, and uh, see what we will get. Um, I will keep you updated. Thank you very much for watching and see you all next time. Bye!